What is up everybody? It's Shogo69 here with a new video review. I'm going to try and make this quick and simple, but in any case, I know it's been a while and I haven't made any uploads recently. Uh, as you can see though, I'm in a new place and I'm just in the process of getting everything situated here. I've got about half of my game consoles hooked up here. And uh, as I go along here, I'm also looking for new ways to connect most of my game consoles. As you are about to see soon, I found a new product, and that's what this video is about, incidentally. The Hyperkin uh, Dreamcast HDMI cable. Really, really cool device. It's plug and play, really simple. Just one cable goes right into the back of the Dreamcast, and then on the other end, it just plugs directly into the TV. So, I'm really excited about this. If you're familiar with my earlier video, I actually, if, if I'm not mistaken, I still have it down here. Yes. The VGA box. How many of you guys remember these things? Now, if you're familiar with retro gaming such as myself, then you probably don't need a, you know, too deep of an explanation on what this stuff is. In any case, this is the VGA box. It's a means by which you can connect your Sega Dreamcast to a computer monitor. Back in the day, the benefit to this is that you get to see the full 480p resolution. So it would give you the absolute cleanest image possible. Um, but fast forward years later, nobody uses CRT monitors anymore. And really nobody even uses a uh, VGA connector anymore. Uh, that stuff is in the past. And in the recent video, or not so recent, but back then, I had to get one of these because the monitor or the TV that I used for playing my video games did not have a VGA input on it. So I had to go from VGA to component. And this is essentially a converter box. The difference between a converter box and a cable, like what I'm using here, obviously the purpose for this is to convert the image and then it's going to upscale it to 720p, 1080p, etc. And this thing here in my video, it does an okay job, but just for this simple fact that we're going from a VGA box into this from a Sega Dreamcast, it really didn't do the Dreamcast a lot of favors in terms of visual fidelity. The picture quality was muddy and it was kind of dark. The color wasn't really correct. I mean, it just had a lot of issues. And this is a $60 piece of hardware. So, yeah. Um, when you're getting into retro gaming and you're trying to get, you know, your stuff hooked up and you want to get the best picture quality imaginable, yeah, you could spend tons of money on this stuff. But, as far as I'm concerned, I want to keep things as cost effective as possible, which is what brings us to this video today. Uh, like I said, $30 cable, you can get it on pretty much any website uh, that sells electronic goods. That would be, you know, Amazon, Newegg, Tiger Direct, etc. Most places are going to have it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I will have uh, links to different places where you can get it online or on my, uh, in the description of this video. Without further ado, let's test this bad boy out. Now, you may ask yourselves why, I mean most people who don't know, why would you purchase um, a cable like this? Well, first off, I mean, when you hook up an older game console to your newer TV, it's not going to look all that great because composite was never meant to be used on an LED TV such as this. This is a 75 inch 4K Sony XBR series. It's got uh, HDR10, etc. So, I mean, this is a really awesome TV. And let's see, what we're looking at right now is the native 480p image. And it's really uh, tiny. So, we're going to. Oh, by the way, all TVs, most all good TVs, will have this feature where you can go in and adjust the screen size. And what it does, effectively, mm -hmm. it just zooms in or stretches the image to fill the screen. So we'll go to full two, and as you can see, it widens the image. 
Now, something to bear in mind is it's going to widen the picture. So your character, the contents of the screen are actually going to be widened as well, and it's going to be stretched a little bit out of proportion. But as you can see, it's negligible. It's really not all that bad. Everything still looks pretty good. Um, wow, I'm just thoroughly impressed. And I haven't even made any adjustments to the image yet. Let's go ahead and do that. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, and by the way, this game, this is MDK2, obviously. The reason I chose this game for the purposes of this video is because it's a darker game. The graphics are nice. It's got lots of color and whatnot. It's really good for demonstrating the contrast and, you know, the colors and all that stuff. So let's see. Let's go into picture adjustments. Yeah, let's change it over. Some people like Vivid, some people don't. I tend to like Vivid for some of the older games. Oh, yeah, that looks good. We'll leave it right there. Let's see. Oh, and then let's do this. Uh, clarity, motion flow. Yeah, I'm going to increase the frame, or not frame rate, the refresh rate here. And the benefit to that is it's going to smooth out the refresh rate and it's going to give you smoother uh, performance when your camera in the video game when the camera pans from left to right you won't notice so much judder and you want to minimize that as much as possible uh, the th one important thing to keep in mind when you do stuff like that though whenever you adjust those settings you may suffer from the introduction of input lag meaning when you press a button it does not respond immediately on the screen uh, some video games don't have that issue some games ha suffer ma like you know major issues from that but you know in on the Sega Dreamcast you're not really going to notice that big a difference but wow i'm impressed it looks really really good now I'm going to test the PlayStation 2. Let's see here. PlayStation 2 now. <clears throat> let's switch it over. And let's see what the PlayStation 2 looks like on the uh do 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 do. Can't wait to see what this ends up looking like. Oh wow. Already looks incredible compared to the old setup. So yeah, that's both of these devices now. I mean, effectively changing the output to HDMI is really simple and it really looks good. And remember what I told you about the aspect ratio being changed? you know and all that. It's going to degrade the image slightly. It's not going to be that bad. And most people, I think they're going to find that, yeah, you could easily live with this. I mean, would you rather have that or would you rather have composite video? Obviously, this looks, you know, leaps and bounds. This is much better than just standard uh, composite cables. And this is the best solution for most people, I think. 30 bucks, I'm thoroughly impressed with what we have here on both the PS2 even though I haven't seen it, if it's anywhere near as good as this, how it is on the Dreamcast, I'm happy. Now, again, I wanted to bring up another point before I move on and close this video. Uh, there are other methods for doing this. They have other converter boxes, but again, you can go up and spend a couple hundred dollars just to do that. And honestly, it's not that great of a solution for the simple fact that it's kind of... <laughs> Is if your cost doesn't matter, you still have to suffer, you know, going in and making a lot of changes to your picture settings. And again, you're going to suffer from artifacts. Some games won't look as good. Some games may not even display, display properly at all. If you want a simple plug and play solution that's cost effective, go with this product. It's awesome. And like I said, they make it not only for the Sega Dreamcast, they also make it for the PlayStation 2, original Xbox, and the GameCube. And looking at this, I mean, this is awesome to see it look this good, and this is from the PlayStation 2. I love it. Well, guys, I really appreciate you guys checking this video out. If you uh, like this content and you would like to support me and see more vi videos similar to this, 
Uh, I also have other stuff here. I got one of these little guys. Basically takes composite and changes it to HDMI, and it also has the scaler option right here that allows me to display in 720p or 1080p. So I'll be trying that out in the coming weeks. But yeah, like I said, if you want to support me and what I do here, uh, be, feel free to check out my Patreon because uh, I'll be getting that set up pretty soon and I will have it updated in the uh, description. So be sure to swing by and check it out. Thanks, guys.